most people in America are familiar with what bullies are. They are typically people who tout at someone, who walk behind them, who stop them physically down the block trying to harass them. A man in a white hair who works for bank your apartments as a maintenance person and allegedly lives there as a part of their work team was doing that to me, harassing me. And some brothers who were in their 20s and college students were on the scene and I asked them politely to help me. They interfered immediately on my behalf and I was able to get out of there. But he followed me for six blocks up a, a, a huge uh, hill around a way that I was trying to walk away from his attack. You see, under the laws of self-defense, I have the right to quote-unquote flee, which means I have the right to walk away from any verbal repartee. I've had other people who were in their 20s who came out of the men's shelter who I never met before were set upon me by people like that, or people in the shelter named Stephen and other people like that. The liars of America like to use other people to clean up their messes from their attacks. So they set a whole community about someone. Liars in the police force will do that. They'll take private records and they'll ruin them and they'll change them without lawful consent under any aspect or form of the federal government or the international world treaties that we are governed by. The liars in America are major abusers of rights. Those who went on the White House lawn to terrify people who were there or interfere with government were bullies and they should be treated just like that. Sent off to mental health places perhaps but openly sanctioned based on the law. The law in America says we have the right to personal safety and the personal dignity of our human bodies. We don't tolerate doctors that sexually assault people, yet we seem to tolerate police that want to put people in cages and mentally abuse them, psychologically use them, and torture them. And openly, when you put a knife down a man's pants, regardless of the size of his package and your intent is to cut, you have sent yourself into molestation land. You have put yourself into a vicious form of sexual assault. Who does that other than the mentally unwell and the totally personally challenged about the laws of American soil? American soil has been protected by many types of people all around the globe and all throughout the history of time. But you decide to attack someone because they don't want to be on your timeline. They don't want to be on your family. And why is that? Because you're an abuser, you're a harasser, you're a liar, you're a gossip, and your gossip has killed a life. You did that. You did that before the Lord Most High, but since most people don't care about God anymore, let's just talk about the law. What you did was violate the law. You were not offered those phone numbers in any way. Where did you get them? How did you get them? You hacked someone's cell phone or you stole them off someone's phone? You have the right to do that. So let's talk about how many laws you've broken in your idea about life and your version of God. You see, even in the Bible, it says pretty clearly, and Jesus utters this in front of people that give to Caesar what is Caesar's, but give to the Lord what is the Lord's. So basically, you're not willing to honor the laws of the current time, yet you profess to be Christian? I don't think so. That's not a favorite concept of mine. You see, what I'm experiencing from people who allege they're a part of God's house is indifference. And the indifference is discriminatory. I might reach out to houses, I might reach out to organizations, I might reach out to Christian places or Jewish spaces. And what I find nine times out of ten is I'll be sitting on a block where I've told them that I am and they'll still walk over to the black man and give him everything that I reached out for to get. So he got what was supposed to be mine. He did nothing but sit there. And most of the time he's sitting there rocking from his drug situations. And most of the time he's walking in and up and down the block. And many times he's walking out to a vehicle to get what? I don't know because it's not my business. That doesn't mean I don't observe things by being in a space. What I've been encouraging law enforcement to do is to focus more on the people around you and me than on me or you. Does that make sense? It means that when you lied to yourself about what you thought you could do to someone's human body, you really marvelously lied to yourself. You sexually assaulted me. You shaved body hair off me. You destroyed my beard. You and your fucking faggot fairy girlfriends did that to me with no avail. And I'm going to tell you, when it comes time, God is going to do something to you that you will never find kind. Because you are interfering with a man's rights. You are interfering with the soul's opportunities. You have interfered with God's plan for me. How dare you think God wasn't taking care of me? How dare you think he wasn't leading me? 
How dare you think I can't find anything on the fucking planet because God wants me to? Now, he might do that for you in your own subtle, indecent ways. But for me, he does that every day. So when I talk from a perspective of being a pagan priest, I am definitely now a totally a eunuch priest. Thanks so much, motherfucker. Thanks so much, big brother. And I mean totally my lawfully bloodline brother who could never talk correctly about me. His arrogance is what I hate. His illegal behavior I don't like. And openly, while he might have helped me once or twice with my computer, most of the time he spewed hate. Why can't I see my own dying mother? Why was I pissed on in front of my father who was dying? The liars in a family get hit by demons, and they don't know how to stop them. They claim to be Christians, and isn't that the truth? That Christians do a great deal in the name of Satan, not in the name of Jesus, and not in the name of the Lord. They think they have rights to someone else's human body. Where and where, in the Bible, or in the Quran, or in any work that I've ever read about Christ, does it say that you can do that? You're a bully, and you're a harasser. You're sexually inappropriate, you're indecent, you're an imposter. Why don't you exercise your own demons and work your life out?